So what I'm going to demonstrate here in this video is the different ways to declare variables here in Java. And I want to show you what it looks like in the program. We're going to start with integer. So I'm just going to keep it simple, integer A, and then a semicolon. Now, I don't have to set A to a value right now, but it's a good idea to do so. So I'm going to set A equal to 1. Notice how when I first call upon it, it needs to have the INT in front. That stands for integer. It's a variable type. The same for double, except I do the whole word double. B equals 2.0. Now, if I left the decimal out of the double, would it error out? The answer is no. But if I just go to print B, it will add the decimal. See, it added the decimal for double. If I go to try and add A plus B together, will it work? It will in this instance. However, it is not a good practice to get into. If I try to divide them, it will still be able to do it. But again, this is a very simple example. It is not a good practice to intermix integers and doubles. So let's set up a third variable. Let's just integer C. I'm going to have the program B, C equals A plus B. And now it is airing out. Why is it airing out? Possible loss of precision requires an integer found a double. That is why we do not want to mix. Even though I was able to solve in the print line what we were looking for, this is why we do not want to mix variables because we're going to use them to store information and we want to be able to keep similar information together. So if I go and change B to an integer, this program will work and it will print C, which is 3. Notice because it's integer how it lost the decimal place. I'm going to show you one other cool thing we can do with it. Is I can take it and mix it in like we did with the system dot I'll print line. So the answer to space plus a plus and plus b plus so it's pulling in the two variables is with the space plus c. And you don't need another plus because there's nothing else. That will in turn pull the values from A and B, put them in where they are at in the program. I'm going to clean it up a little bit by hitting some space bars. And in return, we'll now cleanly print out what we wanted. So the answer to 1 and 2 is 3. I should change and to plus to be technically correct. There you have it. Now, as a programmer, we can go in and change these numbers. The answer to 23 plus 2 is 25. We can do that. We can also change the math symbol here to subtract or multiply uses the asterisk. But obviously, the words are off. So I go and change the words to make it correct and so forth. We'll get into division next week. Division with integers is a unique little thing. The other thing we can do is we can use strings. So string ABC, I can name it multiple things, equals there is a ox in the basement. Don't ask me why, 
but there is an aux in the basement. Instead of having to retype that every time, we would just simply print the variable ABC, and it would print there is an aux in the basement. That's all there is to it. We did integers. I showed you doubles. I showed you why they don't mix in math. I showed you strings right here, assigning them to variables. This is what you'll have to accomplish tomorrow is coming in, assigning to some variables, and getting them to successfully print out.